my ex commented on the video I made previously called Don't Be an Asshole. Um, he says, what he said was, I didn't lie to you, I told you how I feel. Well, okay, I tried to respect how you felt. Since you made it necessary to come and once again yell, or what I have a feeling would be considered yelling or being hostile, I'm going to talk straight to you. Um, I respected how you felt, and I told you how I felt. I still care about you. I still did care about you. Um, I told you that it was a possibility we may get back together. May get back together. I never said yes or no because I don't know. I am at a situation in my life right now where I've got stuff that I need to get fucking done. Okay? I've been trying for almost four years now to get my GED ever since I quit school. And it's mostly, I don't want to lay the blame on you, but part of it is your fault. That I haven't been able to get my GED before this. So... Okay. You are a chronic liar. You can't say that you're not. And by saying, I didn't lie, I told you how you felt. Did you say yes or no? Do you, do you really have a kid on the way and a girlfriend? If you do, you need to forget about me, okay? If you have a baby coming into the world, that's your own fucked up fault. And you have a girlfriend that's pregnant with your baby, you need to be with her, okay? You need to... I mean, I'll be friends with you and I'll be friends with her too, but I'm not fucking around and fucking that up for her. Um, you need to grow up. Period. End of story. I'm trying to get my life on track and you just want to run your mouth. I told you that it was a possibility that we could get back together. Yes. I wanted to talk to you just as friends. It worked for a while, but then you started, are we going to get back together? Are we going to get the back together? I need to know whether we're going to get back together or not. I told you that if you want to get a girlfriend now while I'm getting stuff that I need to get taken care of, go ahead. I will support you in that, okay? I just want to make sure that she's not going to cheat on you. It's all, okay? Because I care about you that much. I want to be a friend. I want to be a friend for you like a friend should, okay? But you cannot jump all over me for putting out the facts, okay? I don't care if you watch my videos and leave nasty comments. If they're too bad, I can just delete them. Plain and simple. I didn't add you back on Facebook because I knew you'd aggravate me to death. And that's pretty much the basics of it. I understand that what you said was how you felt. Well, I tried to tell you how I felt and you had no respect for it. Okay, that's it. You want me to respect you? You're going to have to start respecting me. That's the bottom line. If you're not going to have any respect for me, then I'm not going to have any respect for you. Okay? Because I've got stuff I need to do. You've got stuff you need to do. Take care of your life. If you have a girlfriend and she's got a baby, take care of her. Take care of the baby. And that's it. That's all I have to say. You know? And you did lie to me a lot when we were together. You cheated on me twice that I know of. So, you need to get off your high horse and get your life straightened out and decide where you're going to go from here. Because the chances of me getting back together with you right now are, are extremely low. They are in the negatives, okay? It is like negative 35 that I'm going to be getting back with you right now. So you need to chill, get your life on track, let me get my life on track, and leave it alone for right now. I'm willing to be friends with you, but that's it right now. I can't deal with you. I've got too much else on my plate right now, okay? You need to take a chill pill. 
get taken care of what you need to and let me take care of my shit. And that's all I've got to say right now. Anybody else that watches this, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Rate and comment and subscribe if you want. Thanks.